What is happening guys? Cowboy here. Welcome to part 24 of the walkthrough, continuing on with Fountainhead Palace. We're starting from the flower viewing stage idol. First thing you're going to do is run on over to this shrine here. Grab yourself some confetti. Alright, now we're going to rope up to the roof. See, we have some dudes. Now, don't worry about the guys that are down below. You know, that's the zone we already cleared. So, uh, same stuff, just hitting up a roof this time. Kill Naginata, bro. Alright, now, this next part is going to be a little tricky. But so, there is a, uh, there was some loot that we didn't grab earlier because it was in an area that we couldn't quite reach. And in that area is the Sakura Bull. Very similar to the bullfight from before. Uh, this guy's even more so aggressive. You can see the, the loot right there. There's the bull. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do here is Delt, Possession, Puppeteer. I keep calling it Possession. Run back to this guy, Bill. And now drop down. Fireworks! Soon. Working? Nope, he's in a bad spot. Come here. Come here. We're not doing nearly as well as I would have hoped they would. But the idea here was to puppeteer those guys and get them to uh, help us kill the bull. Not doing a very good job at it, though. Uh, similar to the other bull, the same exact strategy works here. Sit there, beat the hind legs. I'm a little bit sad about that strategy. I expect it to, uh, to work better. Good hit, Mr. Bull. So I'm not really saying anything here. <laughs> it's just been it's been oddly quiet for a while, but yeah, I mean you can you can try and do the the parries or the, the flex of the horns, but you know it's just with as much damage as this guy can do, you know, even when we got whiffs and we only have partials, you saw just how hard he was hitting us. It's easy to just whack away at him. Take him on out. And we get a prayer bead and a beast karma. Giving us an increase in the amount of spirit emblems we can hold. So go ahead and snag up the loot. We got some adamantite, some Yashikiru sugar, bulging coin purse, and a pellet back along the building.
go. Mmm, scrap magnetite, that's tasty. Really sad about that. I tested that twice, and in the test runs I was able to get the archers to do about half of his health between them and me attacking together. Actually, I don't need to rest. I gotta pick my emblems. So start heading this way, and oh wow, look at that, big old fish. Anyway, rope across. Um, let's see, break the bridge across. We're gonna grab the balloon over here first. Bit of that. Um, I also went ahead and did some upgrading. I picked up the piercing Sabi Maru, very similar to improved, but you notice that this one will damage vitality and posture even through guard, whereas improved is not. So very solid choice there. Uh, and then went ahead and spent the money to get Golden Vortex, one of the best items in the game for farming. I was talking about that a little bit earlier, how it allows you to, to just get more gold off of enemies. So anyway. It's right now. Yeah, I'll just get it right here. Alright, um, so we want to kill the long neck. Running up into land before time. We're going to be making our way over there to get that loot in a little bit. Alright, so there's four main types of long necks you need to be aware of. We have the archer, which we just killed right there. Oh, crap, nope. We have these ones. These are the athletes. They kick these balls. You have the swordsman, then you have the pikeman. Um, the athletes, honestly, they're probably the deadliest. The athlete ones, dude, those balls can absolutely shred your posture. Just because it looks like they want to be irritating. Grab some uh, shurikens here. Up your happy, jumpy ass. Uh, anyway, let's see. Back to the idol, break the bridge. Up to kill more. We're gonna jump into the waterfall for eel liver, and there are two lightning doggos. I can get the target on them. You can see right there, he's priming up to do his lightning attack, so go on. Uh, kill the doggos. Maybe a few more. Ceramic. Um, what did I say here? Jump into the waterfall for the two doggos. Sure, can a few more doggos and jump down for two balloons. It's over here. Now, you just saw a boss thing pop up for a split second. Rest assured, we're going to be tackling that guy as well. Um, we got the ceramic under the Tory gate. To rope to the top. This way. Ah, oh, didn't give it to me. All right, well, we'll go from this angle. Doing uh, a couple of loops in this area. All right. So now that we're at the top. Um, we're gonna go that way in a second, but let me see here. Um, do 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 under the toy rope at the top. Do a quick look for Hullet and Gokins, then jump back at the top, jump and rope for them out. Hullet and Gokins. God damn it. Well, I know. So down there we have a Shichiman warrior. We're not gonna, not gonna. Do oh yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Doing this run. Hullet. Sitting here like, what the hell am I talking about? So the re the remainder of the notes started coming like really shorthand because it was at like the very very end of the walkthrough prep, and so instead of writing like fully detailed notes, I started just being like, you know, go compel it, go compel it up top, and I'm just like, what the hell? Where's the where the hell was I talking about? Compel it up top. Uh, we can go ahead and grab the spirit emblem while we're here from the Tory Gate. Should just suck into us. Yeah. Alright. So, same as before. Just rope. 
Rope. Rope. Then, look, right over there. Tucked away, hidden a little bit. Jump spot. Kill the lizards. And then hop across. Now we have reached Pot Noble. I'm gonna grab a couple things real fast while we're here. Hang that up. Uh, that's the dead drop. Don't want to do that. Okay. We're gonna talk to him in a second. All right. Um, kill the white lizards. Oh, should be a confetti that I did not grab. Confetti near the pot noble. We definitely didn't confetti yet, though. Oh, crap. Which makes me think it is up top. Doesn't want to give me a hook point either. Son of a bitch. Hop up there. There we go. Round. Oh, where the hell is the confetti? Oh. Old shorthand notes. Anyway, so over here we have another pot merchant. You there. Hello, hello. You know about carp scales? The priceless scales of the divine treasure carp. Bring them to me. I'll reward you handsomely. Um, so you can go in to purchase items with scales. He sells two lapis lazulis. The Mask Fragment, and the Dragon's Blood Droplet. However, don't buy anything from this lad yet because he's actually going to combine with the other one. The inventories combine. Uh, essentially, for the carp quest, he gives you poison. The other carp guy gives you poison. One of them is going to turn into a carp. Um, personally, I like the other dude more. At least from all the testing we've seen, it doesn't matter which you choose. But this guy is just like, give me scales, give me scales, precious. He's basically, he's basically fucking Gollum. Whereas the one back at Harada is all like, I want to be a fish. So we're going to help out Harada boy. And uh, fun fact, this NPC was actually designed by Miyazaki himself because he couldn't put patches into the game. And so instead he wanted to have some mysterious character that uh, had some obscure quest that you could, you could do. So anyway, uh, go ahead and rest here, get your stuff up. Want to kill these guys again? Ah, piercing Sabi Maru. Freaking sick. So much damage. Anyway, we're gonna jump over. Jump over. All right. Um, all the path. Oh, never mind. Getting a little ahead of myself. We want to go under the structures first. There's a fair amount of loot that can be grabbed down uh, underneath all this stuff. And lower than uh, than the guys, like kind of down in the river. But we can hop. That loot that we grabbed earlier. A couple lightning doggos here. Just keep your eyes out for them. Um, let's see. Killing the lightning dogs. Get the coin purse in a second. Or up the tree. Follow this around to the base of the large Sakura tree. Coin purse. Heavy coin purse. And now, make our way on over to a mini boss. So, we are going to be fighting a uh, Shichiman. You guys should be quite familiar with those by now. 
put on your divine confetti as well as your model purple gourd. Hop up, and we can actually open on this Shichiman with a death blow. So, see him right over there. Um, you can run this way and disengage, but it's a little bit easier if you just go around here. We're just going to be taking the uh, same path that we kind of took up when we roped on over. Taking that again. I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of similar path, but you know this is the this is the best way. Don't hit everything from behind. Rope up there. Uh, now there should be one dog right around him that we haven't killed yet. So just have your shurikens ready. You're going to want to use those as soon as things kick off to take out the doggo. There is Shichiman. Go ahead and pop that. Pop your divine confetti. Oh my god. It didn't work. Oh well. Fight's on. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You know, even without a death blow, this guy isn't exactly a challenge. Uh, he's going to teleport back and forth on this river. Just for lulls. Where is my... You had to get cocky and jump, didn't you? Didn't learn your lesson the last time we were here. Oh. Now I'll give it to him. That was a good terror ball you got there. Lightning doggo. Lapis Lazuli, baby. So after him, go ahead and pick up the bundled Jizu statue. Um, and we're going to be roping back up again. This is the last time, though, I promise. After this, no more roping up. Unless you really want to. Also, don't need that on anymore. There's only one more dead asshole that we'll have to deal with, and we won't be able to use that anyway. Alright, so this time around, we're going to be going down this way to take out a... Oh, took that off. Where's my Sabimaru at? Okay, so that, teleport back, let's see, kill the archer and swordsman, and now it's time to be the ultimate sneaky lad. So, we got four guys here, we have an elite one over there, uh, what we're going to do here is maximize our sneak. So I tried this with a couple different things, I uh, tried using the uh, finger whistle as well, ultimately I found the uh, super sneaky approach to just be best. Between our stealth presence and our ability to use gotchens, like I said, we are basically undetectable. And you can already kind of guess where this is going. We're going to give these guys the show they came for. You are mine! The puppeteer. Get the dragon swing sake. Run on over here. And then any of ones that, well, the ones that are dumb enough to follow you, you can just take on out. Yeah, 
You guys don't like being poisoned? Well, rest here real fast. And then we'll go clean up the rest of the stuff. Nice and easy. Alright, now go ahead and rest because we're going to want spirit emblems back. Right over here is the asshole that's been stopping us from going into the water. Yes. Um, so real fast, let's talk about skills because it's been a while. Um, obviously, you know, Shinobi Arts were looking pretty good. Mid-Air Combat Arts is probably worth picking up by this point. Um, some other things that I want to give kind of honorable mention to once you get this far in. Uh, we have the stuff we need for Empowered Mortal Draw, so you could end up saving for that. Um, as I mentioned, Mid-Air Combat Arts is really nice, but it's not really a necessity. Uh, we use Ichimunji Ichi, <laughs> Ichi a lot, and using that from the air is... I mean, it works, it's just kind of goofy, so... You know, just, just food for thought there. Kind of pick what's going to fit your style. Um, some other things in general, just picking up Sculptor's Karma isn't a bad idea at all. Um, you know, on the note of skills, if you are going for Platinum, you do have to get every skill in the game. So, you know, ultimately it doesn't matter what you get, but, you know, we have all of these, which are really nice because it kind of works into our core kit. Uh, we can use our prosthetics in the air now. Every single prosthetic we use has a follow-up attack. We already have grappling hook attack. We have a lot of kind of our, our core combat mechanics. Same with Ashina Arts. So everything else from here on out, unless you're interested in Temple Arts, uh, we have these are this one and this one help increase gold and item drops. So you could work your way towards those. Um, but it's really kind of whatever you're feeling. You know, I, at this point, I would consider all of the, the main skills that we really want acquired. So at this point, it's kind of just, you know, whatever, uh, whatever you're up to. Uh, so anyway, this guy is actually really easy. All we're going to do is just... Jump, jump, jump. He's gonna hit us once, and then that's it. Yep, that's it. That's the boss. Um, I mean, if you're really worried, you can pop eel. Uh, you can also do lightning reversals, but the thing is, the, the Sabi Maru just ruins these guys so incredibly hard that I don't really feel any of that stuff is even necessary. Um, so moving on from here, there are a couple different things we need to do, and it is all down in the water. I want to point out a couple things real fast. So we have a whole area over there. We can't get there just yet. We get there in a little bit after we go through the palace. But for now, um, you know what? I think we can tackle one more boss this episode, and then we will uh, just drop here, grab this, and we'll go for that boss. And then uh, next episode, we'll start with the lake. So that's going to be where we start at the next episode, just for a point of reference. Down, dive. And there it is, the final headless. But not just him, he has his uh, his ghostly buddy as well. So you get to fight headless and ghost headless. Ghost headless mostly sucks. Uh, as you can see, it's like almost dead already. Um, but you know, this this shouldn't be hard. It's the literally identical to the previous water battle we had. Just find my stuff. There we go. The only thing that could be moderately difficult about this is you're obviously dealing with two. So, you know, double the uh, the tendrils or what have you. Let's 
same as before, basically. You know, wait until he's done his stuff. Um, rush on in, do a thrust, get a couple follow-up attacks. Tries to suck you up. Don't let him, obviously. uppity on the uh, tendrils. Good stuff. Yashiriku spirit fall. Oh, yeah. So anyway, from here, we're going to head back up to the surface. There is a bunch of loot in the water. While we're down here, actually. Uh, so these carps, they swim in large groups with the angry fish. The best way to approach those carps in particular is from the bottom of the lake. You can see that the one already notices me. This one doesn't, though, so... Ah! That other one already... I don't, yeah, he's gone already. So, uh, but yeah. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna take out all the carps and all the goodies that are around here in just a little bit. So, uh, in the next episode, we'll be probably knocking out the remainder of this area. It's hard to say because we do got to go through. There, there's quite a bit in the water here, um, but aside from that, there's really not that much. So, in the next episode, we'll probably focus on uh, knocking out areas here going in-depth into the carp quest, and then we'll move our way towards the end. So either way, make sure to stay tuned. We'll catch you guys soon with more.